After efforts failed to place a violent predator in Mount Helix and Rancho Bernardo, he is now living in Borrego Springs. Our Jason Sauce went to get community reaction, and Fox 5 cameras also captured the man at his new home. He joins us from Borrego Springs with the latest. Sexually violent predator Douglas Badger is now at his new home in Borrego Springs. Our cameras caught a glimpse of Badger Monday afternoon after he was driven home from an outing. We do not know where that was. We were told the 80 year old Badger was not available for comment. It's only been a few days since Badger moved into the home with boarded up windows on Zuni Trail. Neighbors are not happy. We talked with the man who lives right next door with his wife. He asked to remain anonymous. This was supposed to be our dream retirement home and it turned into a nightmare. We came out here for peace, solitude, um, and privacy, and that's all been taken away from us. Badger served multiple prison terms for crimes, including child molestation and kidnapping. He spent years at state hospitals under a sex offender treatment program. Last summer, Borrego Springs residents and local lawmakers protested Badger's proposed placement in the community. Just over a week ago, residents were notified by sheriff's deputies that Badger, under state supervision, was moving in. We have families here. Grandchildren can't visit us anymore. If we see him outside, what do we do? Do we call the sheriff? Is this just, you know, okay for him to walk around? We, we have no idea because no one was in contact with us. Badger isn't the only SVP in Borrego Springs. Convicted child molester Michael Martinez was placed in town last September. He now lives next to Victoria By, a local school district principal. Placing these SVPs here in our community has just created the sense of fear, tension. We live down here for a safe community. It's not safe with SVPs here. I'm actually cussing mad about this. Local state senator Brian Jones says next week he's introducing an audit request into Liberty Healthcare, the company that manages the SVP release program. We want to know how successful are they? Maybe they are successful. Maybe they're not. I would propose that they're not. And so this audit will look at that. There needs to be a sufficient outcry from the rest of the residents of San Diego because this can happen anywhere. I also reached out to another family who fought hard to prevent this placement. And they told us we have packed up, locked our doors, and have walked away from our home. They have destroyed our neighborhood. It is absolutely disgusting and disturbing. In Borrego Springs, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. All right, Jason.